Welcome to the extraordinary world of Enceladus, one of Saturn's icy moons. Nestled among the rings of Saturn, this small moon, only about 500 kilometers in diameter, shines brightly in the cold darkness of space. It's a world of contrasts, with a surface of pure white ice that reflects almost all the sunlight that falls on it. Enceladus orbits Saturn in the outer part of the E-ring, the faintest and outermost of Saturn's rings, composed mostly of ice particles ejected from Enceladus's geysers. Beneath its icy shell, Enceladus is believed to harbor a global ocean of liquid water, making it one of the prime locations in the search for extraterrestrial life. Yet the most captivating feature of this icy moon is not just its ethereal beauty or potential for life, it's the spectacular geysers that jet into space from its south pole. But the icy surface of Enceladus hides a fascinating secret, geysers. Scientists first observed these mysterious geysers back in 2005. This was during the historic flyby of the Cassini spacecraft, a joint venture between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Italian Space Agency. As Cassini zoomed past the icy surface of Enceladus, Saturn's sixth largest moon, it captured images of stunningly bright plumes of material shooting out into space. Now imagine this for a moment. You're floating in the cold, quiet void of space, and there, in the distance, is a small, icy moon against the backdrop of the giant ringed planet Saturn. As you get closer, you see jets of icy particles and water vapor shooting up from its surface, reaching heights of up to 500 kilometers. That's taller than Mount Everest, the highest peak on Earth. These images were indeed puzzling and exciting, but how did scientists confirm that these were indeed geysers? Well, it wasn't just about the images. The Cassini spacecraft was equipped with a suite of scientific instruments, including the ion and neutral mass spectrometer, which could analyze the composition of these plumes. The data collected by Cassini revealed the presence of water vapor, molecular nitrogen, methane, and other organic compounds in the plumes. But the most conclusive evidence came from the spacecraft's multiple fly-throughs of these plumes. Yes, you heard it right. Cassini actually flew through these geysers, sampling the material directly. This daring move confirmed that the plumes were indeed geysers, spewing out material from beneath the moon's icy surface. The discovery of geysers on Enceladus sparked a renewed interest in this icy moon. It opened up a world of possibilities, from the potential existence of a subsurface ocean to the tantalizing prospect of life beyond Earth. It was a momentous discovery, a testament to human curiosity and our quest to understand the universe we inhabit, and we continue to explore, to observe, to discover, in the hopes of unraveling more of the mysteries that our vast cosmos holds. These geysers are not randomly scattered across Enceladus. Quite the opposite, actually. They're located primarily in the moon's south polar region, in an area that scientists have charmingly dubbed the Tiger Stripes. These stripes are four large fractures in the moon's icy surface, and it's here that the majority of geysers are found, spewing vapor and icy particles into space. Now, let's talk numbers. The tiger stripes stretch about 80 miles in length, but they only cover a fraction of Enceladus's surface. Yet they're home to over a hundred individual geysers. That's an incredible density. Each geyser is a window into the moon's subsurface, a literal crack in the icy shell that allows us to glimpse what lies beneath. So while they may seem like fantastical space phenomena, these geysers are also vital scientific tools. The geysers of Enceladus are a fascinating example of extraterrestrial geology. The material ejected by these geysers is not just ordinary water vapor. Far from it, in fact. The plumes spewing from Enceladus's surface are a rich cocktail of intriguing substances, each adding a new layer of complexity to our understanding of this distant moon. At the heart of these plumes is water. But it's not just any water. This is water from a subsurface ocean, a vast reservoir buried beneath miles of icy crust. This water is rich in salts, particularly sodium and potassium, which are crucial for many biological processes here on Earth. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. Alongside these salts, the plumes also contain a smattering of organic molecules. Now, don't get too excited just yet. Organic in this context doesn't necessarily imply life. It simply refers to compounds containing carbon, the building block of all known life. The presence of these organic molecules, though, is undeniably significant. It suggests that the subsurface ocean of Enceladus could provide the right conditions for life as we know it to exist. 
It also implies that the moon could have the necessary ingredients to support alien life forms that operate on entirely different biochemistries. In addition to water, salts, and organics, the plumes also contain traces of other volatile compounds. Ammonia, methane, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen have all been detected within the plumes, further adding to the chemical complexity of these geysers. This rich, diverse composition is more than just a scientific curiosity. It's a gateway into the hidden world beneath Enceladus's surface. By studying the composition of these plumes, scientists can glean valuable insights into the moon's subsurface ocean, its geological activity, and its potential for harboring life. The composition of these plumes offers tantalizing clues about what lies beneath Enceladus's surface. Each molecule, each element, each compound tells a piece of the story, hinting at the secrets that Enceladus holds deep within its icy heart. On Enceladus, we witness a unique kind of volcanic activity known as cryovolcanism. Not your typical fiery hot spectacle, but a colder, more icy counterpart. This phenomenon takes place when subsurface oceans of water mixed with ammonia are subjected to immense pressure and heat from the moon's core. This concoction forces its way upwards, and upon reaching the surface, it erupts. But unlike our earthly volcanoes that spew out molten lava, Enceladus's cryovolcanoes eject plumes of icy particles and vapor into the moon's ultra-thin atmosphere. These icy eruptions are the very geysers we've been discussing. They are a spectacular display of Enceladus's cryovolcanic activity. What's even more fascinating is that this process could be happening on other moons in our solar system and potentially even on exoplanets far beyond our reach. Cryovolcanism is one of the many ways Enceladus continues to surprise us. It's a testament to the diverse and astounding geological processes that shape the universe around us. The geysers of Enceladus might hold the key to one of humanity's biggest questions. Are we alone in the universe? The astrobiological implications of these icy eruptions are exciting and intriguing. When we talk about astrobiology, we're referring to the study of the origin, evolution, distribution, and future of life in the universe. This is a science that seeks to understand the potential for life beyond Earth. And Enceladus, with its geysers, is a tantalizing subject of this study. Why, you ask? It's all about what's in the plumes. The material being ejected by these geysers isn't just water and ice. Cassini's instruments detected a cocktail of complex organic molecules in the plume, these molecules are the building blocks of life as we know it. They form amino acids, which in turn create proteins, the workhorses of all living cells. But it's not just about the presence of these molecules. It's also about where they could be coming from. The energy necessary for these geysers to erupt suggests a heat source within Enceladus. And where there's heat and water, there's the potential for life. Now this doesn't mean that we found life on Enceladus. Far from it but it does mean that the conditions might be right for life to exist. Perhaps microbial life forms are lurking in the oceans beneath the moon's icy crust, surviving in an environment similar to the deep sea hydrothermal vents here on Earth. This possibility has sparked great interest in the scientific community. It has transformed Enceladus from a relatively obscure moon to a top priority for future space missions. Researchers are already planning ways to return to this tiny moon and probe its secrets further. While we can't jump to conclusions, Enceladus certainly offers a promising location in the search for extraterrestrial life. As we continue to explore our vast and complex universe, it's exciting to know that the answers to some of our biggest questions might be found in the icy geysers of a small moon orbiting Saturn. The journey to unravel Enceladus's secrets is far from over. Our quest to explore the icy moon of Saturn with its fascinating geysers is only just beginning. The upcoming missions are set to delve deeper into the mysteries that Enceladus holds. One such mission is the Enceladus Life Finder, or ELF. This proposed endeavor by NASA aims to return to Enceladus and analyze the plumes in even greater detail, hoping to find more complex organic molecules that could indicate the presence of life. The ELF mission has the potential to provide critical data to further our understanding of this intriguing celestial body. Another noteworthy mission on the horizon is the Enceladus Explorer. This mission, proposed by a team of European scientists, aims to land a craft on the surface of Enceladus. The craft would then drill into the icy crust to collect and analyze samples directly from the subsurface ocean. This mission could provide unprecedented insights into the conditions beneath Enceladus's icy exterior. Space agencies are not the only ones interested in Enceladus. 
Private companies have also expressed interest in exploring the icy moon. For instance, the ambitious Breakthrough Starshot project has proposed sending a fleet of tiny, light-propelled spacecraft to the Saturnian system. If successful, this mission could provide a wealth of information about Enceladus and its geysers. These missions embody our collective curiosity and desire to understand the universe around us. They also represent a significant investment in the future of space exploration. Each mission is a step closer to answering the question, could there be life beyond Earth? While the geysers of Enceladus are a primary focus, these missions also hope to gather more information about the moon's geology, its internal heat source, and the composition of its subsurface ocean. The data collected could help scientists understand more about how life might survive in extreme conditions, informing our search for life elsewhere in the universe. The geysers of Enceladus will continue to be a focal point of our exploration of the Saturnian system. With each mission we edge closer to the answers that Enceladus holds, each discovery another piece in the vast puzzle of our universe. The geysers of Enceladus have provided us with a wealth of knowledge, but they also remind us of how much we have yet to learn. As we draw to a close, let's take a moment to digest the extraordinary journey we've embarked upon today. We started off by introducing Enceladus, one of Saturn's moons, a world that has captivated scientists with its geysers spewing icy plumes into space. These geysers, first discovered through careful observation and advanced technology, are concentrated in the moon's south polar region, making Enceladus a hotbed of astrobiological activity. The composition of these plumes reveals a fascinating mix of water, organic molecules, and other compounds, giving rise to the concept of cryovolcanism, a type of volcanic activity where the magma is composed of volatile substances like water, rather than molten rock. Further, the presence of these organic molecules in the plumes raises exciting possibilities. Could there be life on Enceladus? The evidence for a subsurface ocean and heat sources beneath the icy crust of Enceladus adds to the intrigue, stirring the imaginations of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. We also took a glimpse at the Cassini mission, which played a pivotal role in studying Enceladus. The data collected by this spacecraft has offered invaluable insights into the moon's geysers and potential habitability. Drawing parallels between Enceladus's geysers and Earth's geothermal features, we've seen how studying these extraterrestrial phenomena can deepen our understanding of geological processes right here at home. Looking ahead, future missions and exploration plans promise to shed even more light on Enceladus, its geysers, and the potential for life beyond Earth. These endeavors underscore the broader significance of our continued exploration of the solar system. To sum up, Enceladus's geysers have not only enriched our understanding of this icy moon, but also opened up new avenues for astrobiological research. They encapsulate the very essence of space exploration, the thrill of discovery, the quest for knowledge, and the allure of the unknown. As we continue to explore Enceladus and its geysers, who knows what other surprises await us in the icy depths of our solar system.